Number one Oregon Duck survived in Randall in uh, Madison, Wisconsin at Camp Randall. Uh, they beat the Badgers 16-13. Jordan James rushed for 115 yards and a tying touchdown on 22 carries to help the Ducks win their first 11-game season and for the, the, its first 11 games and for the second time in school history. Wow. The Ducks also won their first 11 games in 2010, went on to reach the BCS championship game before losing to Cam Newton-led Auburn Tigers. Oregon won by outscoring Wisconsin 10-0 in the fourth quarter. The Ducks also erased a fourth-quarter deficit in victories over Boise State and Ohio State this season. Mm. The Ducks, quack, quack. Hey, they... I, I don't understand. The, the top teams in college football... What don't we, you understand? Week in and week out, they up and down. There is there's no dominant fixtures. The Georgias, the Alabamas, they, they, they dominate the entirety of the season, obviously, until they get to until they get to the playoffs. Everybody's up and down depending on who they're playing. There's no reason Oregon should be struggling against a, a Wisconsin. There's, there's, there's no reason. Teams that are playing are supposed to be supposed to be challenging for a national championship. And it, it just shouldn't happen. Everything is just seems so inconsistent. And I swear for God, I think it's because I, I, I don't want to use NIL as a reason why, but it's even the playing field with all teams across no, quarterback the play. What teams are successful in the NFL? You Look at it, the quarterbacks. You think, was, you think it was that bad? That the quarterback play for Oregon was that bad today? No, I'm just, uh, they're on the road. Uh, Wisconsin is not an easy place to win. But, you know, you're dealing with 18, 19-year-old kids, Ocho. These are not professionals. They don't understand that environment. We understand what it's like to go and play oh, in yeah. Pittsburgh. We oh, know yeah. what it's like to go play in Kansas City. We know mm -hmm. what it's like to go play in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. These kids, a lot of these kids haven't been in that hostile of an environment. Right. Just playing on the road is varies where you're playing. Pittsburgh you that, is different. Huh? Go ahead. You think that, you think that affect the kids, huh? Oh, hell yeah. The atmosphere? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that, that's 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 it, 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 it impacts professionals. How many times we see we get they get uh, uh, penalties, get a procedure? Oh, yeah, because you can't hear. Okay, okay, I, th I thought you meant it's, the, the hostile environment, like, of I course, like, yeah. I mean, I, I hate maybe I'm there's something wrong with me. I prefer playing a, in at away games and being at hostile environments as opposed to being at home. I, no, I want to be at home, weird. I know I it be might be a good snap count, huh? <laughs> I want to be able to hear the snap count. I oh, like I'm playing. At, I'm, I'm looking at the ball anyway because I can't. I I'm looking at the ball. I just yeah. need the ball move. So whether I can hear the snap count or not, whether we're going silent, whether we're playing home or away, I'm not listening to the cadence anyway. But see, if I can't look at that because I got a guy. I got a guy on my head. Oh yeah, you always got somebody on your head. Yeah, I can, see, I but can't you, be looking. But, he, but <laughs> see, you always, right you always, there. but see, you always looking in there like that. Yeah, at the tight end, you got a little grace because he has to give you a full yard, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. You know, he ain't no full yard. He just, his helmet just can't be over the line of scrimmage. And I'm normally crowding the ball because right. I want to be, I want to be as close to getting to where I need to be as right, possible. Right. Yeah. I ain't trying to be back. Some people are like, bro, why are you, why are you a yard and a half off the ball? Damn that. Get a little freedom. Yeah. Hell yeah. No, yeah, exactly. Uh, but the Ducks survived. And uh, it looks like this is probably going to be them in Ohio State again in the uh, the championship game, huh? Probably. It is the Indy. Because that's where that's where it was last year, I think. That's where it normally is. The Big Ten is normally in Indy. Yeah. yeah. Yep, Lucas Oil. Yeah. So it's gonna be it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a very interesting game. But th that's the mark of a good team. You find ways to win. You outscore the opponent in their building by ten points, and you squeak out a victory, thir uh, sixteen to thirteen. Give the Ducks credit. Uh, do they have another game? I think they play twelve, and then they got the championship game. It, they, um, I think, who, who, but they still have three games left. They play, um, yeah, Civil they play War. Washington. They got Washington next week, and then, they got, then they got the uh, Big Ten Championship well, in two wait. weeks. They got to buy next week, okay? They gotta in play two Oregon weeks, State they got first. Washington, and then they got the Big Ten Championship. Go ahead, Ocho. They got to play Oregon State, though, right? Or they already had Super they, are, they already beat y'all. You ain't have to say it like that. They think about taking y'all off the schedule, so y'all ain't no competition. They, they beat y'all 49 14, just like they did when you was there. You sure? 
Yeah, I'm oh, sure. I, actually, when I was there, the, the four months I was at Oregon State, we did win Civil War. We won that game. Just FYI, just throwing that out there. I think they might have canceled it. They felt <laughs> bad for y'all. <laughs> Aston Genty ran for 159 yards and three touchdowns as the number 13 Boise State Broncos beat the San Jose State 42-21. Genty, 159, three touchdowns, set school record for rushing, uh, uh, for yards rushing in the season. So what's he at now? A little, a tick under um, 2,000? He's at 1893. Ocho, how many games left? It's three games left, ain't it? He got... He got two games in the regular season. He 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 gonna hit that two thousand. Oh yeah, he gonna get two thousand. No, the question is, is he gonna get Barry's record? He's about seven hundred and seven. He's about seven hundred and thirty six yards behind Barry. So will they count the playoff? No, that he's yeah, they do. They do. Not, they do. He's not gonna. Uh, that's a that's a lot. Um, that's almost a full season worth of work in a, in a three game span. The question is, is he gonna make the college football playoffs? Because they got two games. Do they have a conference? Do they have a conference championship? Yeah. People talking about the Cowboys go at, uh, go uh, draft Genty. No, they won't. That's too obvious of a pick. A running back going that high? Yeah. They have the a conference championship. So they got two plus the championship. And I'm assuming they're going to be in it. Yeah. Clay. Yeah, okay. yeah. So who do they, who do they have left? Oh uh, man, he about to go for three hundred against Oregon State. Oh, they play. Well, they play us last. It don't matter. In or in Corvallis, they can play y'all on the moon. Can play y'all in the parking lot. He going for two fifty. I don't, I don't. I don't think so. He he might go for one twenty, but I don't know about two two nothing. Not on us. Yeah, on y'all. But see, yeah, but see the difference is how many games has he played now, uh, Ash? Ten or eleven. See, Barry Barry rushed for twenty six hundred in eleven games, but oh, Joe. Oh, that's so he needs seven hundred and thirty five <laughs> yards to get. Is 700 yards rushing possible in a game, in a college game, Ocho? No. No. And, it, and, it, and it, if, if it is, the conference is, you know what, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think. Uh, but the kid, I mean, the kid's playing, he's having an unbelievable season. Yeah. He's, he's going to win the Dope Walker, which is the, uh, the best collegiate running back in, in, right. in college. And yeah. rightfully so. Do right. I believe he's going to get invited to the Heisman? Yes, I do. I believe he get invited to the ceremony. But it's he, my estimation that, that Travis Hunter is the best co collegiate football player. Absolutely. That's no knock on anybody else. No. no. I mean, listen, I mean, no disrespect, but a blind man can see. A blind man can see what Travis is doing is special and, 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 and deserves to win the Heisman. It, it's, it's deserving. Like, there, there's no hate. There's nothing you can say. It, you, can't, you can't talk about, oh, he's padding stats and – like, get, I, I, I saw all kind of stuff on Twitter today from, from certain people, certain analysts talking about, oh, the numbers he's putting up. He's putting them up in garbage time when the game doesn't matter. Like, come Ooh, on. Trav? Yeah, man. Like, come on, man. You're just trying to find any type of angle, just any way to be negative. If you watch the game of football, whether it be college, high school, NFL, what Travis Hunter is doing is special. Stop with the, with the, with the shenanigans and trying to find something negative to say. God, yeah, man. I agree. Ocho, Deshaun Mitchell had a hell of a game against Benedict last week. He had 12 catches for 227 yards and two touchdowns. Why is that important? 